Well, good morning. Welcome back to the Ohio farm. It's snowing in late February. Getting a little late winter dusting, I guess. Uh, great demand at our little farm shop. I wonder what that's for. I'll have to check that out. Um, yeah, it's winter. Not much going on. Uh, we'll try and keep ourselves a little busy today. We'll see. We'll see what we can come up with. I think I got a honey pallet completed finally I think I'm spoiled by the uh, general mill that we purchased just because it uh, it produces pallets so darn quickly it's incredible okay that's a little better let's get that honey pallet now I think I'm okay. The pickup's kind of close. Oh, I should have put the tailgate down in it. We'll go past it. There we go. One last gasp of winter, I guess, before before we hit March and spring. I think that's officially the beginning of spring, at least in the game. Ooh, three. Three boxes on that pallet. Let's see. It's down here. Wouldn't it be great if the great demand at the our little farm shop was for honey? <laughs> Probably not likely. But let's find out. Let me get over there. Let's see, I think it's that one. Yep. Good steer away. I remember way back early in the series where somebody was saying, hey, you should get rid of the skid steer. Like, you know what? I have plans for it. We knew we'd need it someday. Right. Let's trap that in. So it don't go nowhere. And let's head over to the West Place and our little farm shop. Turn the lights on for safety. A lot of states have a law that if you have your windshield wipers on, you need to have your headlights on. Because when there's precipitation, that often is accompanied by reduced visibility. So, we'll have our lights on. thousand two hundred and twenty one for the honey. Let's see if we can figure out. What the great demand is for. I wonder if I can see the lights. No. Yeah, it's cold. Keep the door closed. Let's see. 
Great demand at the farm shop. What do you think it's for? Here it is. It's for cheese at our little farm shop. Unfortunately, we're not making cheese. Oh my God, that's high. 4,082 is the seasonal high. And they're... And wow. 6516. We should... <laughs> I'm so bummed. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not making cheese. I wonder if I get... I, yeah, I won't be able to produce any quickly enough. <laughs> That'd be nice. All right, what do we got going on over here? The West Place. Eggs. Not yet. How about this one? Because there's so few chickens in here, they produce the eggs really slow. I don't know when that's going to get done. And I don't know what's going on with the bakery here. It's working, but... Where are we at? 7.06. We might get a loaf today. So look at the cycles per month. It's 2,160 cycles per month. And the recipe is two flour to one bread. Which means... With the 2,160 cycles, that's all the bread you're going to make in a month. Two loaves of bread. That's not much. Oh, well. Tis what it is. We got two butters over here. What we got left in here? And we're out of milk. Man, I should have put that on cheese yesterday. <laughs> um, check out the cows, see how much milk is in here. Our little tank holds 2,000. If there's 2,000, we'll move it over. So, the self made cow shed. Yep, we got 2,000. We got to be careful of the reproduction here. 80%. I'm thinking what? April we're gonna have six six calves and I think in May there's a good chance we might have six more so we can do milk uh, we can move that butter I think I need to give the chicken some more barley We didn't have any um, maple syrup yesterday, so we probably will today. Carefully see if I can back this thing out. <laughs> oh man. I need more storage. That's what I get for having so many vehicles, right? Alright, so let's let's put the butter in there. Because it's winter, we'll show the chores again. I'm thinking maybe as we get into the year, we may time lapse these chores or just not include them and say morning chores have been completed kind of thing. This tends to be somewhat time consuming and takes up a good portion of the episode that we can't show much else. So, and there's a lot more stuff going on. We need to be more, more cognizant of that. 
I know you probably love watching me do pallet handling though. Because I'm just so artful. <laughs> As I back into my field bin. this in the back for a little reefer truck. So I think we're ready to plant or drill uh, come March, which I think will be the oats, All right? shouldn't have done that. <laughs> oh. Because I have the CSD forks on, when I change views, I'll have that one view. I'll edit it out. So it goes from first to third person, but I'll have to do it probably stopped. get down to the maple syrup see if we got anything should be something there today I would think since there wasn't yesterday it doesn't look like it well, that's odd that happen I wonder how many days we went without getting maple syrup before I realized that it's been a couple well, that explains it there's your problem All right, so no eggs, no maple syrup. There are eggs, but not enough eggs to take. Let's, uh, let's see if we can get chickens fed. And we'll grab that milk. Now, for some reason, yesterday when I went over there to feed the chickens in the smaller pen, it didn't want to take it. So, I don't know what's going on with that either. Let's drop off the forks right there. Grab the bucket here. Take a little barley out. The the chickens in the larger pen, they'll, they'll, they'll take whatever we have, whatever we'll give them. They always could use more. We have quite a bit of barley. I probably should have sold some of it. Maybe I could take some of it and make um, flour with it. But I wanted to make sure we had something to feed the chickens. I need to um, okay it's taking it now there we go that's good we'll give the rest of it to these guys over here
with the bucket too close to the building. I don't know if you remember, you've seen before where I hook it up and then it catches on the bottom of the building and throws the tractor up in the air. That's not good. That's never good. See if I can find the trigger today. I had trouble, remember in the last episode? It was during a time lapse, but I couldn't find the trigger to deliver the milk to the uh, farm dairy. So I'm going to go to where the trigger, I think, was the last time I was able to get it delivered. And if that doesn't work, we'll go to where it had historically been prior to the um, bakery getting put in. So it was right around here. Shoot. <laughs> So that's where it, where it was yesterday, kind of like right on the corner of the gravel and the grass there. So previously it had been here, okay. Thought we were going to end up running around all over the place again trying to find where the milk trigger was. It's just so hard to um, feather the accelerator using the controller that it just is such a bear. That'll be alright. I think we're done. Oh. Tells me I need to stop by the uh, container field and put another bale in the feeding place. When it pops up like that, that's the bale getting completely sold the rest of the way. cheese but as we get more milk I think that's probably what we'll do leaving the farmyard area. But great demand of butlers. I what they want. Probably nothing I have. It'd be cool if it was barley, maybe. <laughs> what would we get? Hard to see against that gray sky. 5,186. It's us up close to three thousand or thirty thousand dollars. That's nice. Ooh. 
go ahead and close the door. Yeah. <laughs> it's tight in there. <sighs> okay. Nine o'clock. Which means we're probably about 20 minutes into the episode. Everything happens in the morning. In the first couple of hours, right? So here's what I'm thinking. I'm thinking we'll take the wheel loader. And what we're going to do is we're going to go grab some stones. We'll load it into the uh, half pipe trailer. take it over to the uh, stone crusher that's over by the mill. While we're at the mill, we'll activate flour. Uh, we'll come back, we'll grab the pickup, we'll go back and load up two newly produced pallets of flour in the back of the pickup. And then uh, bring it here and put it in the bakery so it'll have flour for another month. That's what I'm thinking. All right, so I'm going to hop into the house for a little while because we're not in much of a hurry. Uh, we'll check used equipment. And then, yeah, do that, do that stone stuff. I'll drive the wheel loader over, then I'll uh, go walk, grab the JCB, come back over here and get the trailer. But we'll do that in a few minutes. All right, well, I'm warmed up now. It's uh, 10 o'clock. Still snowing. Oh, deer running through the yard. on. Probably ought to turn the beacon on. I can't get a full bucket of gravel because it's too heavy or of stone. I think probably around 3,500 is as much as you want to take. And I think we can get 12,000 in the uh, half pipe trailer. Man, we might actually get rid of this pile. We built up this pile over about five years, I think. <laughs> but might as well get some use out of it, turn it into lime. That's probably enough. Yeah, that's pretty heavy. In FS19, you used to have a problem when snow would be falling, like your trailers would uh, fill up with snow. Or your buckets, if you didn't like tip them over. Speaking of buckets. I took that home.
So yeah, we'll grab the JCB because it's the fastest tractor that we have. JCB fast track. <laughs> and then uh, we'll go get the half pipe trailer, which is over at the West Place. Um, leave that there. right here. I suppose keep the buildings closed. You know, they're not that well insulated. Need like a waste oil heater or something. Okay, what am I doing? Oh, going to get the <laughs> half pipe trailer. That's way down. South end of the property, <clears throat> the tree line. Oh, that reminds me, I should probably get some of the slurry out of the cow shed. I want to make sure they're still produ they produce as much as they can I need to let it get full and lose what they're producing until I realize it's full. Keep it from even getting close and it's already near. Gotta get in the habit of paying more attention to that. I need to go to the uh, container field and put a bale in the feeding place. I lost, because uh, I went in that house over here and let some time pass. That was time that could have been uh, a bale selling in there. Oh well. Try to get over there fairly quickly here, get this loaded up. Should be driving that fast down the farm track, but so yeah, it's almost March, almost spring. What I like to do is I like to get a builder in here. I want to build a more formal kind of farm shop rather than you know the shed kind of little thing that we got, maybe something a little larger got something in mind uh, I think it'll look pretty good Keep the bucket low when we're maneuvering. Get here, we'll use a high tip. So I think this will hold like 12,000. So we're probably looking at three or four buckets to fill it if we keep the 
fill in about 3,000, 3,500 in the bucket each shot. I don't think we're going to have much more than maybe one more trailer load or a partial of the stone that we have. Did I hit the ground already? I did. Don't want to pick it up. So putting the bucket about half full, the stone is probably as much weight as you want to put there. I'm surprised that they don't have... Base game weights or options for the wheel loader. I mean, this is a mod, the weight that I've got on there. It's in the description. Oh. careful because I often uh, end up messing up that weight fat finger in the controls I don't want to get it from over here for some reason I don't know why it's just it's like that there we go angle I guess are you supervising there probably not the best place to stand This should, I think this should do it. It won't even probably take all of this. Yep. I didn't even take very much of it at all. Like 2%. Okay, it's just more for later, right? Well, I think we're done for today. I think this is all we'll do. We'll just do one load. Because I think one or two loads more and our uh, production will be full of lime. All right, thanks for your help. We'll get turned around here. Better turn that around. We'll be slow moving at first when we come out. All right, I'm gonna hustle over to the feeding place, take care of that, and then uh, 
head over to the mill. Probably time lapse to see the mill will only be a few seconds. at the mill and the work on the gate is done which is nice this will be so much nicer pulling in with the truck like this a lot roomier <laughs> quite uh, quite the difference all right, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hop out here. I'm gonna turn on the uh, flower production with the wheat. And we'll let that run while we go back and we'll get the pickup and there should be a few pallets by the time we come back. Okay, so this, I think I can... <clears throat> Drop that right there. <clears throat> and we'll fire up the production again here. So it's like half full of lime. Um, 2,000 will give you 4,500. And I don't even know what I just put in. Oh, like 10,000? So 10, 5. That'll give me about 20,000, I think. And we already got a pallet of flour. <laughs> there was one ready to come out almost, so it's not not surprising it's not quite that fast but it is pretty quick so we'll just go get pick up we'll come back over here we'll grab a couple pallets of flour we'll put whatever else got produced into the warehouse over above the couple of pallets that we want and then I don't know we got some things to put away but other than that um, check on used equipment I guess down at the uh, store That might be it for the end of February. March will be ready to drill oats, so... I suppose we start get, checking the seed drill, making sure that it's uh, ready. Maybe do some maintenance.
I'm back at the mill with pickup, I probably could have waited a little longer. Looks like I've got the two pallets I want, though. Actually, I might have... Oh, I got more than the two pallets. Okay. I was thinking maybe I needed to spend a little time doing something, but... Um, actually, let's just park here. That'll be closer. Um, what did I do? I don't know. I can't remember. I've, I've hit all these buttons and I don't know what they did <laughs> as I was trying to figure out how to put the tailgate down. Yeah, winter has not given up yet. thing if I don't turn it off it'll probably make pallets as fast as I can put them in the warehouse <laughs> we'll see what happens I don't think we want to spend a lot of time in this episode doing that but I guess it's work that needs to get done but I don't want to up either. Move a couple. If another one appears before I get these we'll do that one too and then and then we'll see how much it's uh produce and pick when we put the last one in and if it puts another one out we'll probably have to turn it off <clears throat> oh, I didn't turn the lights on in here I think I'm going to be alright okay this one's going to go up high watch the light Yeah, these, th this racking is just a little too close together. It'd be better if it was a little farther apart. Okay, I, yeah, I'm gonna... I think I'm gonna have to turn it off. It's gonna put pallets out here quicker and I can get them to the warehouse. <laughs> we don't want that. We'd spend the rest of the day just moving pallets around.
one more comes out, I'll turn it off. Wow. I didn't get that one as far in as I thought I did. Um, let's put this one... Yeah. fiddling around I'm doing here. Um, shoot. I think. thought that I got it further in than that, but I obviously did not. All right, it should be better. Got room in between to put another one. <laughs> Turn. Recover. All right. Oh, wow. Snow. It's slick. Let me turn this off. Um, how did I get up to maple syrup? Flour, wheat. Um, deactivate. How much... Okay, you gotta be careful with the accelerator because it is getting slick here in the parking lot. Get that last one, put it in here, and then we'll take the flour over to the last place to the bakery. And then go get some lunch. This, the middle rack is the one that's the most difficult to kind of deal with. You got above and below. Okay, get the height just right. I'm 
not doing myself any favors here, am I? What's going on? Whoa. There we go. That does it. Nope. Nope. Oh, what I do, get it wedged in there? Oh, it's because of the, the angle of my forks. I think so. Tap it in there. So I'm afraid I won't get it out, which is entirely possible. into a corner here, aren't I? A few moments later. Took like about a 50 point turn to get get out of there. <laughs> Alright, let's put this away. Come on. Drop this down. Let's get going. Alright, we're going to take this to West Place. Oh my gosh. It's noon already. I'm hungry. else is turning their lights on for safety. I don't know if you saw during the time lapse when I was driving the JCB and that Challenger came without the headlights on when I was turning left into the farm track at the West Place. I didn't see him. So I'd already started my turn. place we're gonna put the flour in the bakery here take a look at our work
Okay, so we got more. We should get, oh wow, I turned that off. We should get a loaf of bread before the end of today, so we'll definitely have one tomorrow morning. All right, it's 1210, I'm gonna pop in. At least keep some easy snack foods over here at the house at the West Place. You can eat when we're farming busy. And yeah, I gotta grab something. I'm kinda hungry. Alright, that was just a quick little bite to eat. Um, it did stop snowing while I was in the house, which is kind of amazing. Uh, <laughs> and I think it's warming up. I think the snow's going to melt off probably uh, this afternoon. So I think, yeah, we're just going to start putting things away. We'll put this back over by the farm shop. We'll put the... JCB away, we'll come back over, we'll grab the telehandler and And then I think we'll uh, Start working on getting the drill ready for Getting the oats in come March. I can't believe it's almost March already. That's amazing. <laughs> the winter took a while. But that's all right. I think pretty soon we're going to be back to where we're going to want to do uh, two episodes every day because we're going to be so busy. Depends. We'll just have to kind of manage it the best that we can. We don't want to, you know, uh, drag it out more than it needs to, but we want to show you what work we are doing here at the farm. But yeah, the end of winter and the beginning of farming season. Put that right there. You know, I want to thank you for hanging out with me here at the Ohio farm. Uh, I know your time is valuable to you. And I appreciate you just spending some of it here with me. You know, we forgot to shoot our basket at the beginning of the episode. So I don't want to deprive you. I want to make sure we get that in here. There we go. Fanfare. Oh, oh my God. That was awful. <laughs> Oh, I'm embarrassed. If you enjoyed it, hit that like button. And if you don't subscribe yet, why not? It don't cost nothing. <laughs>